everyone, today I will talk about dictionary. Uh, this is IL Park 1 and I have 6 questions about it. So this is the first question. Do you use a dictionary? Uh, at this moment, I have some dictionaries uh, about word dictionary, um, thesaurus or even you know some types of academic dictionary, business dictionary and um, in the past I used dictionary a lot but at this moment I just use all dictionary because it's self term uh, question two what type of dictionary is useful it depends on your level or on your needs sometimes you know I am a Vietnamese girl and uh, I want to know more about some Vietnamese word I use Vietnamese dictionary for um, English learners whose level is beginning I suggest that you should use uh, English Vietnamese dictionary but when your level is higher you should use English, di English dictionary Question 3 Do you think the dictionary is useful? Wow, definitely the dictionary helps you a lot uh, to acquire new languages you know um, moreover you can know exactly the that word is a verb or a noun or even adjective and you can look for more examples in the dictionary to use the language effectively question four what are the benefits of using a dictionary for kids um well for kids if you uh, let them use dictionary at a young age they can form a habit and they're always studious looking some words new and I find it's a best way to educate children question 5 is it important to look up words in dictionaries definitely because you know um, our knowledge our language is not perfect and you sometimes have to look at uh, words in the dictionaries so you can know more about the meanings and you put that words in the right context question six do you prefer an electronic dictionary or paper version uh, well actually um, in the past I prefer paper version because it's not damaged my eyes when I look at the screen uh, surfing online uh, on an electronic dictionary but at this moment I find electronic dictionary is more useful more safe time rather than you just uh, open the paper version uh, look for the words it's quite you know waste time yeah that's all about part one and now I will move to part two um, I pick up a topic describe a place where you can relax and not harm you should say where it was what you can do there and explain why it is relaxed to be there well let me set up time now two minutes okay so now I'm going to tell you a place where I can relax and not my home you know at this moment I spend time in Gong Tha a beauty shop and I find it and you know relax actually I have a day off and um, um, this kind of places like coffee shop or you know some places you go for a drink is uh, typical for Vietnamese people as you can see that um, uh, you know you can spend time with your friends talking to each other in order to drink too uh, rather than you pay a lot of money in a restaurant uh, or even you know uh, in comparison with cinema you just stay there enjoy the movie without talking to your friends and I find that kinds of places like this useful for well, especially the youth uh, the teenagers in Vietnam at this moment and you know Gong Cha is uh, the kind of um, tea brand in the Taiwan and uh, Vietnam bites um, you know I uh, this location is quite near my home um, I can you know I can stay like I said I can stay here talking to my friends or even working bring the laptop and you know uh, it is cool because of the air conditioner rather than you I stay at home without you know uh, without cool air cool air conditioner um, so I you know actually I um, 
this is kind of place where I can broaden my knowledge but also I convinced that it's a place for you to uh, relax, release the stress after work mm. so yeah that's all about this topic for today and uh, uh, actually it's a labor day international labor day and uh, I hope you enjoy the last day before you come back to work come back to your study so thank you so much for your listening and bye